There's our power line, so we want to follow the right one. Because they split up down in this valley. This is kind of a dangerous dash, because we're sort of open. Look at this huge place. Now we could explore this place. There's three buildings there, a long barn and the little building and the other one. But, you know, I think we're doing okay. We got our weapons, I got enough food and health. I'm at 1100. I think we'll just skip it for brevity, but you can always explore it. Now we're gonna follow this to the cut line across the other side of the valley. I like to do a mad dash because who knows who's walking up here. But in this case, the uh, power lines are our guide. We're going to follow that. I'm just going to grab a beer and a smoke. Be right back. Okay, so our next destination, if you look at the map, is uh, Kozlovka. That's where these wires are going to take us. Our ultimate destination after that is Zelenogorsk. And I think we'll stop at Kozlovka, and I'll show you how to loot that place, and we probably won't do Drazino. It's just a tiny place in a barn, but who knows? We might be uh, half dead by the time we get there. So, let's do this run across the valley. Of course, you can go explore that place on your own if you like. I think I'll just do the mad dash. I'll stand up. Stand up and sprint for a bit. both ways. Seems like we made it through there in the clear.
darn, I'm kind of lost actually. I think I followed the wrong wire. I did, damn it. Well, I know the ocean is south, so that road's going north. Well, this road will lead us right to Kozlovka, which is what we want, so we'll follow the road. Had a brain fart there, sorry. But yeah, we want to hit Kozlovka. really don't want to be anywhere near the coast. We'll die inland. And I like to hit Kozlovka from the north. There's a uh, few places. I got a little bit of a routine and I'll show you how to do it. It's basically crawling through a bunch of zombies and looting the houses. matches yet so we can't make a fire but we can kill that thing and because I got the hunter's knife I believe yeah let's try this out side mission here kill the ruminant slice him into steak we'll cook the steak later I still use the Makarov. I don't like being in the middle of a field firing off a weapon, but that's what we gotta do. So, there's the road. We wanna go roughly up there. Let's go into a crouch run. So, that's our destination after we kill this thing. I don't like firing weapons and well, period. Eight hundred for every cooked piece of steak you eat. Hello, cow. You've had a great life in this pasture. I hate to do this, but I'll try and be as humane as I possibly can. Okay, maybe that wasn't as humane as I intended, but...
So I use the scroll wheel and click gut animal. Well, isn't that a lovely sound? Eight raw meat. So I got four spaces here. One, two, three, four. Let's go to our... Let's go to our patrol pack. I have to look away. Maybe you'll figure out a better way to do this, but... I've got six slots in there, so let's put the raw meat into our pack. That frees up these four spaces. Grab the last four. Open our pack again. I got two slots left. There. Now if I go beyond zero, this stuff either vaporizes or drops on the ground. I don't know. It's buggy. So try and always be aware of what's in your pack. So I got no spaces in my pack left. Don't try and put anything in there. If you do, you might lose it forever. Or it might fall on the ground and it's hard to find stuff on the ground. This way. You know what? You're really lucky I don't have any bigger pack backpack. Sheep is good. Never mind. So, we need matches so we can make a fire and cook that stuff up. That is like your uh, kick-ass healing potions. I see the wires over there. So we would just want to follow those. Since we don't have a compass, we got a map, but no compass, but that'll be our guide. If you're really lost and you find power lines, follow it. It'll take you somewhere, eventually. And of course, you understand I don't want to be in this field here, so I'm going to zip over this way. Okay, I'll just run normally. I like my crouch run, but we'll try and speed it up a bit. And you know what? I just feel more comfortable when I'm in the trees. Okay, that's the huge building to the southeast of Kozlovka. I want to circ. I'm not gonna investigate it. You can. There's stuff in there, but explore it later. I'm gonna circle around to the north and hit Kozlovka from the north. Let's see what we find. We're not really hurting too much. 
I really want the supermarket in uh, Zelenogars. That's my major goal at the moment. I want a backpack. Sometimes you find them there. But I haven't found one for about three days. zombies now. So yeah, you can go there and climb on the ladder get upstairs on the catwalks there, all kinds of stuff, but I'm not going to bother. Going back to the crouch run now. That's our town. I'm going to circle around it and hit it from the north. I know the buildings you can loot here and can't, so that's why I'm showing you this. An easy way not to waste a lot of time and probably not get killed. But you never know, every time you come into a town, anytime zombies are involved, you don't know what's gonna happen. I guess this would be a good time to say, I've heard this and I haven't really made it happen in real life or zombie life, is that uh, when you're running from zombies, go up a steep hill and down a steep hill. So we've got a good idea of when you approach a town, you kind of want to know where you're going to go and what you're going to do. Now we've got a semi-steep hill on this side, but I know that there's a steep hill on the other side. So if we get chased, I should either run up here as fast as I can, or run directly where I'm pointing on the other side. See, oh, there's kind of a deep valley there in between here and that forest up there. So, just kind of have in mind what you're going to do when the shit hits a fan. I'm just going to walk now. Let's see if I can get my bearings. I think that's what we want. 